This lesson will introduce you in uh, this lesson will teach you to conjugate Greek verbs in the imperfect passive voice. Uh, so instead of I was leading, it was I was being led. All right. So just like with the present passive indicative, all we're going to do is we're still going to take our augment, our epsilon augment. We're going to take our present stem. We're just going to use different endings. We're going to use what are called secondary endings, just like we did with the imperfect active. Now these imperfect, uh, the secondary, meaning past tense, medio passive endings, remember used in both the middle and the passive voice, are going to be, uh, the basic endings are main, so, to, meta, the, unto. But like with the present tense, we're going to add a theme vowel. So theme vowel plus ending. And so these theme vowels are going to be, again, omicron and epsilon, omain, eso, which contracts after we lose the intervocalic sigma to u, eto, omatha, esthe, onto. So remember, main, soto, metha, esthe, onto, we add our theme vowel, and then we have our second person singular contraction with the intervocalic sigma dropping out. So what does this look like? With luo, our, our uh, paradigm verb, eluo main, eluo, elueto, eluometha, elueste, eluonto. So we still see our epsilon augment, our stem, and our ending. Augment, stem, ending, augment, stem, ending. We just have a new set of endings. Like with the imperfect, we can identify this as a past tense right away with the augment and also the endings, which are going to be different from the present tense. Uh, so what you're going to want to make sure you memorize are both your primary medio passive endings and the secondary medio passive endings. If you've got these, you can conjugate just about everything.